OK, uh, so let's get started. And uh, thanks for coming to my talk. Today I will talk about uh, exact computation with an uh, infinitely wide neural network. And this is joint work with uh, Sanjeev Arora, Simon Du, uh, Wei Hu, uh, Zhi Yuan Li, Ruslan Salakudinov, and I'm Rose Wang from Carnegie Mellon University. OK, so uh, recently there's a line of research uh, showing that neural networks uh, uh, that are sufficiently large can achieve zero training loss by just using great descent. So these works are done by Li and Liang, Du et al., Alan Zhu et al., and Zhou et al. And the main idea behind this paper is to relate wide enough neural networks to a kernel. And J. Cote et al. has shown that as one increases the width of a neural network to infinity, a certain limiting behavior called neural tangent kernel will emerge. So our paper focuses on studying neural tangent kernels. So there are many questions that remain to be studied for neural tangent kernels. The first question is that can we formally show that the prediction of neural networks is equivalent that to neural tangent kernels when the, when the width of the neural network is sufficiently large. And the second question is that how does neural tangent kernel perform on standard benchmarks for deep learning like CFR10? So we answer these questions in this paper. Our first contribution is a theoretical contribution. So what we show is that when the width of the neural network is sufficiently large, the predictor learned by applying gradient descent on a neural network is close to the kernel regression predictor or, or the corresponding neural tangent kernel. So here, by sufficient large, I mean the width is polynomial in the number of data points in the depths and in the inverse of the target accuracy epsilon. So this is the first theoretical uh, guarantee that relates wide neural networks to uh, neural tangent kernels. And our second contribution is an experimental contribution. So basically, we gave a dynamical programming-based algorithm for calculating neural tangent kernels for convolutional neural networks together with GPU implementations so that we can run the experiments on, CFR10, on the whole CFR10 data set. So here, we give the test accuracy of various uh, algorithms on CFR10. The first column is the depth of the CN or the corresponding neural tangent kernel. The second column is the performance of vanilla CNN without using uh, techniques like batch normalization and the learning rate decay. The third column is the test accuracy of the neural tangent kernel corresponds to CNNs. The, third, uh, the fourth column is the performance of convolutional neural networks with global average pooling. And the last column is the uh, uh, test accuracy of neural tangent kernel corresponds to CNN with global average pooling. So there are two observations here. The first one is that the performance of neural tangent kernels is highly correlated with the performance of the corresponding CNN. So this means that uh, in order to study CNN, we, maybe we can just look at the corresponding NTK and study the property of the corresponding NTK. So one specific reason that makes this possible is like, as we can see, as we use better architecture for CNN, the performance of the neural tangent kernel is also getting better. The second observation is that there is still a gap between the performance between neural net, uh, convolutional neural networks and that of the uh, neural tangent kernel. So this means that the success of deep learning may not be uh, fully explained by uh, neural tangent kernels. OK, let me list two uh, interesting future directions. So first, as we show in our experiments, the performance of neural tangent kernel and neural networks is highly correlated. So can we understand the design of neural network architectures and other techniques in deep learning, like batch normalization and residual layers, using the lens of neural tangent kernel? And the second question is, like, can we combine neural tangent kernel with other previous techniques in kernel methods to further improve the, the overall performance of kernel methods? Okay, so uh, let me conclude the talk, and uh, so you can find the full paper, our full paper on archive, and we have also released the code for calculating convolutional neural tangent kernels on GitHub. And welcome to the post session this morning for our paper. And again, thanks for coming to my talk. <laughs>